I'm introducing Joanne Belmar and I want to say that if you want to follow the, the series on my channel, you have to press subscribe that is at the bottom of the video. And also we are always, um, particularly myself, always to questions that if you put it on YouTube, I will make sure to answer any questions that you have. And I welcome my colleague and friend, Joan Belmar. How are you, Joan? I'm fine. Thank you for the invitation, Elisa. It's great to be here. Yes, I, I'm really happy to be with you, getting to know you a little bit more. So I hope we can, we can have a wonderful conversation, of course, about arts. And just to surprise you, I want to ask you the first question and maybe you remember how we met. This is one of the things that I ask my guests because I want to be part of it, like a biography. Like, how did we met? Do you remember that? Yes, I met you in the story barn in Poughkeepsie, mm -hmm. but I knew about your work before mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, in the Dorsky Museum. Um, I have mentioned that before. I, I saw a piece with the trunk and the zipper, and I, I flip out. And I, <laughs> and I asked the curator, and I say, "Well, I would like to meet her, you know, because there's something very powerful, energetic in the piece." Oh. So when I, I saw you, you were very kind, and and you introduced yourself, and I realized that was the same artist. Yes. Well, thank you for knowing me through my yard. That's a huge compliment. Instead of meeting in a social event, you saw my piece, you asked for me, and that's one of the best compliments that artists can get. So thank you for that, Joanne. And I'm happy that we develop through, through the years a nice friendship. But you know, I always think, I don't know all about you, but I want to know who is Joan Belmar as an artist. I have a, one piece that I, I saw uh, from the collection of your work that I don't know why, but this artwork, sh it, it just feels that is Joan Belmar. But tell me who you are as an artist. Tell me about you. Well, to respond to that question, Elisa, uh, I need to come back to the country that I was born, Chile, mm -hmm. um, following the, the structure of society that they tell you, first you do that, later you marry, later you have children, later you do that. I said, no, 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 it must be another world outside that I don't know, but I had the intuition in my stomach. Mm -hmm. And I started to study, wherever I studied, graphic design and technical drawing, which uh, still has a more commercial um, um, uh, condition. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that gave me the chance to uh, try different techniques, you know, all the techniques, all uh, pastel, uh, watercolors, etc. And I worked as a graphic designer for a short time. I was a, a, a creative director, but when clients came to me and told me, okay, paint a, a car, I felt so empty and, and sad because oh. I, I thought, no, it's something in me that is different because um, I felt that I never fit. And I don't say that as a negative thing, I say it as a positive thing because mm -hmm. if you don't fit, you can see other worlds, not just one part, you can see many different options okay. and, and since uh, I left my county in, in 2000 I'm sorry in 1994 I went to Spain mm -hmm. and I get inserted in a gallery uh, uh, I was working in a gallery and uh, I was happy because I found what I was looking for and I didn't know what was that because my family is not related to art and they don't care about that at all. So. Uh -huh, uh -huh. so uh, my question was, so you consider yourself now like a professional artist, I imagine, 
And but how do you define yourself as an artist, Joan? Uh, I am uh, curious. I like the challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to break certain things and think in different ways, and always explore. Uh, I like to mix times, past and present. I like movement, and I like change. Well, that is, of course, that is really a true artist having all that uh, conditions of curiosity and everything that you named. So do you think, uh, I'm always thinking about this and I would like to know your opinion. Do you think that uh, the arts are a big contribution to society? Yes, I think it's very important. Art is very important. And um, of course, people from outside that are not artists, they don't see that as a profession. They see it as a hobby. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's my job. I don't care what the people say. I, I work each day. Like, mm -hmm. I, of course, the, the times are different because uh, I don't have a boss, but I am the worst boss that you can imagine. <laughs> So, well, uh, yes, I also agree that it contributes to society because since the times that uh, humankind appear in our planet, we are leaving a trace, we are leaving our mark from the caves to now, we are expressing through drawings or different techniques. Um, and so there is something mysterious about art that it, it goes from, from that time of the caves, as I say, to now. So I also believe that it's a very important part of humanity. So what I'm looking, I'm sharing the screen, and I would like you to tell me about uh, the images that I'm posting here on the screen. Uh, I see, uh, for me, and then you explain, for me, they, they feel like planets and a very metaphysical art the same that your beautiful background, by the way. Um, tell me about this series and what, what is this work about? Well, this uh, series is new. Uh, I started in, 2000, in 2020 uh, uh, in the pandemic time. And I was questioning myself and all these uh, you know, issues that we had, question, mm -hmm. questioning why we are here, you know, uh, Questioning, questioning about death and mm -hmm. life and how was before and how will be the future. And um, I uh, was researching and, and, and I always use circles as a reference to the feeling of don't do the thing in a, in a linear well, way. Mm -hmm. Because nothing that I did in my life was uh, lineal, except when I was uh, a good student in the school, <laughs> and I was kind of uh, military. But oh, wow. uh, so I decided to um, incorporate uh, new elements, mm -hmm. like a cube that was very strange that you see a cube in my work before, and uh, that was reflection uh, of um, uh, human life, uh, uh, reference to cities, to mathematics and uh, this stuff and also i want to uh, connect just with these few elements the circles and square something more profound uh, maybe the universe or maybe a cell something that we don't understand but it's something there that, i mean it's something that everybody can relate it and you can okay. interpret it the way you want yes and uh, well uh, the the geometry that you are a portraying in your work is really a very metaphysical in a way, let me tell you. Uh, it's uh, now we, you know, I'm, I'm showing another work and uh, do you think, uh, Joan, that is important to know about other artists, visit places, uh, museums, or some, some colleagues that I discuss, you know, not only in Arc Hub, but in general, they tell me uh, that they prefer not to see anything, not to get contaminated 
with the images of other artists, go to museums, they prefer to be in the studio. What is your position or your idea about it? I think each artist work in a personal way and nothing is wrong or right. You choose your way, that's the beautiful of art. You can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And uh, some artists have this uh, idea, but I don't share that idea. I mm -hmm. think uh, we need, I, I need artists in my life. And uh, I learned from them. I, when I look an artist in the eye, eyes, mm -hmm. I can understand uh, this motivation. Okay. Uh, if I don't know exactly the details, but I know that that person is in a search of, and uh, I feel um, lucky having the, uh -huh. the chance to see them and it discover, discover, discover them slowly because mm -hmm. you never open yourself like that. So you give some clues and if the people are curious, they will ask you and you will respond. And uh, I think it's very important the in, uh, interaction with other artists, okay. not just artists, art people in general. Yes, yes, I understand. Well, the piece that I'm uh, showing now here on the screen, it has a different feeling than the previous one, but it's still the the palette, the colors, and also the shapes are. I see a very unique way of doing your work, and you have like a very distinctive. Uh, visual, uh, you know, visual work. Uh, tell me about these. Are these different works or they are all one? No, these are photographies uh, mm -hmm. made in 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, the series was called Plastiland. Mm -hmm. uh, and I make photos using plastic. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to uh, distortion or uh, di destroy the okay. image that you have from a plastic cup, from above, from whatever. Amazing. Yeah, and transform really... it. Mm -hmm. else. Yeah, okay. so those are plastic cups. And um, it was fun to work. I'm not a photographer, I know, but I do what I want. If I want to do photography, I do it and not I, you know, think, I, I think that these are great. I mean, I, I didn't imagine that they were plastic cups. I mean, it's, it's a wonderful photography. Let me tell you, you said that you're not a photographer, but these for me are wonderful photos. So here we come back to the series that uh, you are working on. What's the name of this series? called Georamas mm -hmm. and because I am interested in geography and not knowledge about geography I can get lost in the map sometimes mm -hmm. uh, but I love the beauty of a map and also about uh, how uh, we find a pl our place you know in the mm -hmm. maps but I like to use uh, obsolete maps I like to see how they change and many times I combined I, I minimalize them and I make them more uh, abstract in some way. So mm -hmm. you don't perceive it right away. So uh, uh, that's one of the reasons that diorama, also the graphic, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a combination of th these words. Yes, and uh, can you tell me if you remember uh, what size is this work? Those are uh, small works. Uh, um, uh, the small works are uh, little paintings on paper are called uh, geo -resur resurrections because I uh, eliminate image of, of many of them, even though our photography is taken in the street mm -hmm. and, and manipulated uh, in a program, uh, converting JPGs to SVGs, and I can carve it in a plywood so I can make prints. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, I can't uh, place them on the painting. So uh, I wouldn't call it print because it's a, uh, one layer more of paint. In this case, it's, it's oil. So- Okay. Yeah, I see that you use several mediums and you combine them. 
Well, it's a lot of labor. I see a lot of labor in your work. So just by looking at your work and seeing all the work that uh, you're doing that, uh, you know, I, I have a question that maybe is profound and not easy to respond, but what do you think art is? Oh gosh, Elisa, <laughs> thinking all these days, I was three in the morning thinking, oh my gosh, that question I need to respond with my heart, not with a technical dictionary, you know? And for me, <laughs> art, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a void, it's an empty space uh, in our society, society in our culture that has been, uh, that exists since uh, uh, humanity is humanity, and uh, we have the need to express a current moment mm -hmm. and also express feelings that you don't find a word to express uh, in visuals. Okay. Um, and uh, the, in this space, all what doesn't fit in our rational, practical, technical wor wor world have access in this box, and we call it art. Okay, well, you know, I will remember what you said, and it's good to know what my colleagues think about it or feel about it. Uh, thank you for that. I know that it's a very difficult question. Uh, Joan, uh, I want to remind everybody that is watching that uh, if when they uh, see this conversation, see this video, that they can ask questions. Uh, are you willing to answer questions if I get yes. questions from, from people? Yes, of course. Okay. okay, that's great. It's great to know because some artists are not interested in answering questions. I'm glad to hear that. If we have any questions, definitely I will send them to you and I will respond as many questions as I can. And always I ask people to subscribe to my channel just to support uh, the arts in general. I'm introducing artists um, from all over the world. I have colleagues all over the world and I, I love to bring uh, the flavor of different places. In this case, Joan and I, we live close by. We are in the Hudson Valley, New York State. We are in the United States, um, so I feel closer to you, <laughs> not only because we are colleagues and friends, but also geographically we are close. And I have another question, Joan. Um, what will you tell, I mean, this is a, something that I ask people like you that have a career, that they have awards, that they they receive grants like you received. Um, what would you tell to a person that is a beginner in the arts? When I say beginner, I don't mean that they just finish a career because we know that there are self-taught artists that they don't study in a college, but anybody that begins a career, what would you tell that person? Well, first of all, I think gods are very important. Um, uh, you will get, if you are young, and of course you will look famous artists that will, will be your inspiration. But you need to take in account that behind this success is a lot of work. And uh, the first thing are the gods. If you want it, you will get it. It's as, as simple as, as that. Uh, uh, maybe it will look imposs impossible or hard, but if you want it, you will get it. And I, I learned that from an artist called Trevor Young, and we were talking about that. And we, I was talking about a wonderful artist, and, and he, he told me, no, she's not going to make it. I say, why did you say that? And he told me, because she doesn't feel it in the guts. Mm -hmm. So it's because you are scared about, okay, money, that's the first my gosh, how I'm going to survive, right? And, and, uh, but you will find a way. If you really love it and you dedicate your life to that, you will find a way. 
Well, that's uh, one of the things that uh, it happens uh, with most of us that it, you know, it's not an overnight, uh, you know, career. It could happen just to a few, but most of us, we are working for many years. We dedicate the time, we have the passion. And I think that you have the passion. I know your studio, that is a fabulous studio. It's just to enter in a wonderful world of art. So not only your practice, your studio, everything is just a smell to art. So I'm, I'm glad that uh, I had a chance to visit your studio. So tell me about the painting that uh, we see in the screen that is in the back. I mean, it's so powerful that red and that, you know, the colors that I love so much. Tell me about that painting that you, you have on the screen. Well, it, it's a paperwork uh, uh, with acrylic and oil and ink. And many times people ask me if I use computers and I don't use computers. Sometimes I, I, uh, I change phot photographies when I'm making prints, but usually it's painted. Uh -huh. uh, and, um, I, I forgot the name of the painting, but <laughs> it's part of the dioramas too. Okay. And I want, I want to create a, a universal feeling without being literal. Okay, okay. Sounds really great. Uh, Joan, I know that you are exhibiting now, so uh, I would like to uh, together that you name the places or the place, the gallery that you are exhibiting. Uh, I know that you work with the gallery in Washington, DC. Uh, can you tell me what's the name of the gallery, the name of the exhibit? If you want to explain a little bit about that, invite your colleagues and friends and collectors to visit the gallery. What is the exhibit? Tell me about it. I, 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 I must tell you that um, I spent more than 20 years in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. and when I arrived to Washington, D.C., I didn't speak English and I was not knowledge about art. And with the years, I became part of the community and I have seen um, uh, the evolution of galleries and artists, artists that quit, uh, galleries that, that they close, and artists that are still like, working. Okay. And uh, so and, uh, most of my galleries are in DC. Uh, I work with Ada Rose Gallery. She's amazing, she's fantastic. Oh. Uh, yes, and Gabby, I have also, you know, my affection to her, yes. She support the art and uh, she doesn't like the, the snobbery of art. And uh, she think art is for everybody. And she's amazing. She's uh, really understand the artists and support the artists in all the ways. So uh, you're exhibiting with her right now? Yes, it's a show called Carte Blanche that is curated by the assistants. So they pick out the art that they like. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's the summer exhibition. Okay. Uh, but also I work with I uh, play in Georgetown, and uh, I work with Transformer, which is a non-profit uh, alive because you can um, express in different way to a commercial gallery. You can uh, take some mm -hmm. challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I work I work with uh, Charles Crow Reporting Fine Art, where I can express more political ideas. And um, what else? Uh, uh, and here is space, uh, which is like a, a place that uh, was very important for me. Okay. Uh, yeah. So and until when is exhibit in Washington DC with uh, at the Rose Gallery? Uh, it's right now it's on, will be the summer, I'm not sure the dates, but will be probably August uh, or August. Okay. Okay, well, great. I mean, it's, um, do you have any other projects that you want to share? Many, many projects. And, and I, I love getting travel, you know. I, <laughs> I, I love travels. And let say, oh my gosh, but that give you energy. Yeah. Uh, uh, because sometimes you can be painting. I go to work each day. I think I consider myself uh, a studio, a studio artist. Uh, I go to the studio each day. Yes, oh yes. Sometimes just to look or just to talk with the painting or fight with the paintings or whatever. And uh, it's a precious moment. Um, um, and the, the processes um, 
you need to dress to go to paint. You need to be light uh, because I paint in the floor, so you need to make, you all, all, almost uh, it's a yoga class, you know, <laughs> <laughs> because you need to stretch yourself and go inside the circle and paint this line. So you use all your body, and it's a wonderful exercise. So I don't go to the gym. Well, you you do art art exercise. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So, Joan, how people can contact you in terms of not just to ask questions, what I said, I mean, uh, just to see more of your work, because this conversation is, again, I learning more about you, but if people want to see your work, where can they see it? Do you have an Instagram? Do you have a website? Can you just tell my audience how to find you and see more of your work. I just show a few examples, but there are more to see. Where they can, where they can look at your work. Well, uh, the guy, the guys that I mentioned before, they have a, a, a flat file or they have framework, uh, but also they have a website where you can see uh, the art that they represent. Um, but uh, I like Instagram. Uh, uh, because I'm showing the works in process and current work. Okay. Uh, I think that's the best because sometimes uh, you Google the artist's name and of course I, I have been working for many, many years and I have worked in different series. And even though it's uh, something that connects the work, it could look mm -hmm. very different because we're different time, different gallery, different concept. And uh, so I like, Instagram most and Artsy is another wonderful wonderful platform mm -hmm. uh, where uh, you can see different works and and, and you can buy it too so that's great. Okay and you have a website is www.joanbelmar.com exactly. Ah, exactly perfect so if people look for Joan Belmar any every place and most of the places will appear with your work they cannot miss yeah. it right okay. yes Okay, Joan, I think that, uh, you know, I, I feel that uh, we chat and I, I got to know you a little bit more. And do you have anything to add that you would like to add uh, to this conversation? Uh, I don't know. I, I would like to tell people uh, because, <clears throat> uh, you know, I have find out that uh, when you say, what do you do? And you say, I'm an artist. The people look, look at you and say, what? Are you a singer? Are you an actor? And uh, for me, that's my job. That, that's my work. Mm -hmm. And I don't care what the people say. And um, it's very important, as you say before, the interaction uh, between artists and uh, go to visit the studios. Uh, sometimes it's hard because you are doing many things, but find a way to uh, uh, visit each other and talk and uh, uh, change ideas. Also, uh, for new generation of artists, uh, it's important to see everything, especially the thing that they don't like, because, uh, because you usually like what is similar to your work. So when you do the opposite, you learn a lot and you open new doors. Yes, I totally agree. I thank you for that, uh, you know, that way of thinking because we are a community and we are professionals. Um, that, that's one of the missions of Art Hub to show uh, the professionals in the, in the visual arts. It's not only like a, a weekend, uh, you know, distraction, uh, just to do a painting and that's it. It's a whole life that we dedicate just to create and to and just to get out everything that we have inside to leave a legacy, to leave a, a language that is a visual arts language. Um, so it's very important that we, you know, people understand that it's a profession too. Um, so I thank you for telling also to visit and and to be part of the community. I think that that's a good way to end our conversation. I, I thank you a lot for taking the time uh, to talk to me. I know how busy we are all uh, are in these uh, contemporary times, but
but I really appreciate and I encourage people to visit your website, to visit your um, Instagram, to visit Ada Rose Gallery in Washington, D.C., uh, and also her website. Um, I think that it, I will say thank you, Joan, and uh, I think that we can end this conversation, and I hope to see you in real life uh, soon, okay? Yes. Well, thank you for open, open this beautiful connection and, and to uh, unify us and put us together and also to learn from other artists that uh, are maybe in Argentina and Buenos Aires. I, I, I watched the last video and I love it because uh, we are in the same frequency, you know. Yes. Yeah, that's one of the missions of uh, the work will be different, like you said, but the 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 intention, the intensity, the passion, the love for what we do is very similar, but the images come differently and that is okay. That's the way that has to be. We all have a different way of communicate our inner life, our inner thoughts, our way that we see humanity. So that's important that we are all different, but at but we have similarities, that's for sure. Okay, Joan, I say bye Thank you. now. Thank you. And, Thank you. And we'll keep in touch definitely, okay?